There's something captivating about seeing the brain in action. How does the brain work? What happens when I think or have a conscious experience? Yeah, this is the kind of thing that we're going to be able to address with this new technology. This is the first fMRI research system in the state of Delaware. That's as far as you go. So fMRI can track brain activity basically by tracking blood flow. We're able to now look at the link between mental activity and brain activity. What we have with the scanner that's on campus now is ultimate research machine, but that we can also translate it into clinical use. This will really open up the possibility of the types of imaging that you can do and the questions that you can pose. It's a huge training opportunity for all of our students. It's a technology that has very wide application. My research is in the intervertebral disc in the spine. The disc degenerates and is responsible for low back pain. We use MRI to visualize the soft tissues in the spine and see how they change with aging and degeneration. Combined with modeling, we can understand changes in mechanics, changes in motion, and look at treatments and therapies like implants and how those will restore the mechanical behaviors of these tissues. I study visual attention, memory, and perception, and decision making. The ultimate ideal for us as psychologists is to understand how brain structure and function impacts cognitive function, mental processes. We study the muscle and bone development in children with movement disorders, primarily children with cerebral palsy. Cerebral palsy results from a brain injury that affects uh, children's ability to move in a coordinated fashion. We use MRI to look at the muscle and bone size, the quality, the strength. The, the ultimate goal is to try to help them move better and have a better quality of life. I'm an MRI physicist, and so my research is in developing new methods for performing MRI, particularly of the brain. The hardware that has been developed and put into the scanner, we're trying to tweak as much of it, try to turn those knobs, trying to go to higher resolution so that we can see things that we've never seen before. This is going to be a center that's going to have a huge impact, not just on the university, but on the surrounding area in the state of Delaware. We know so little about how the brain actually works, and there's still so much to be discovered. It's interesting, exciting work.